for f of x equals absolute value of x minus 1 plus 2, what is the new function g of x resulting from a horizontal shrink by a factor of 1 third? So to do a horizontal shrink, you have to multiply the inputs by the reciprocal of the shrink factor. So g of x is going to equal f of 3x to make that horizontal shrink. So g of x equals absolute value of 3x minus 1 plus 2. And there's no simplification to be done here. I mean, that's it, simplified form. So now we're going to graph and compare. So our f of x is absolute value of x minus 1 and then plus 2 and our g of x is absolute value of 3x minus 1 and plus 2 graph Okay, so there's our f of x and our g of x. The f of x is in blue, g of x is in red. And you can see that the g of x is steeper than the f of x. And if you compare the distance from the y-axis, it looks like the g of x in red is one-third of the way compared to the f of x. But it's really hard to see what's going on here because of the zoom. So let's try zooming in. There, and we just caught the top there. You can see where these vertices are. I've never done this before, just trying to use the up arrow. Get right up there and then enter. Let's see what happens with the zoom here. Okay, maybe that's zoomed in a little too far. So I'm just zooming out, and this actually looks like a pretty good view here. Okay, now comparing the f of x in blue and the g of x in red, you can see that they both have the same y-intercept, which means it is a horizontal shrink and definitely not a vertical shrink or stretch or whatever. And also, you can see that the vertices, well, for the f of x, it's about three times further away from the y-axis than the red. And so that tells us that we have a horizontal shrink. Okay, so here's our function. Horizontal shrink by a factor of one-third.